Hello friends, welcome to RR Digital. Today we are going to discuss about uh, how to insert data from one table to another table. Okay, so here first we will verify what other tables available. Okay, here I have multiple tables employee, employee 1, employee 5, like that. Okay, so here employee 5 table I have some data. Okay, so employee employee five right. Um, so employee five data I have forty seven records. Okay, but uh, inside employee table there is no uh, data. So now how to insert the data from my employee five to employee table? So whatever data available in employee five table, same data I want to insert into a employee table okay so for that how to write a query so here insert into table so data you want to insert into which table employee table okay and then from which table okay so select a star from employee 5 so whatever data available in employee 5 same data I'm inserting into employee table. Okay, so back end here map reduce jobs are running. So successfully executed. Now we'll cross verify employee table it is showing data or not. Okay, so successfully I inserted data from one table to another table. So like this we have to insert data from one table to another table. Now, next concept, how to execute Hadoop commands in a Hive prompt. Okay, so generally in a Hive prompt or a Hive mode, we'll execute only Hive queries, right? But to execute Hadoop commands generally in separate window, here we are executing uh, Hadoop commands, but I want to execute Hadoop commands also inside a uh, Hive prompt or Hive mode only. Okay, so for example, I want to list out what other uh, files or uh, folders available under HDFS path. So generally, for that, we'll write a query like Hadoop FS hyphen ls, then a user a uh, cloud era. Okay, so whenever you want to execute your hadoop commands in a hive mode in front of the any command we have to give this symbol then only it will work okay so successfully executed your hadoop command inside a hive mode so these all are the files and folders available in the hdfs path okay so same way even you can execute your uh, other uh, uh, commands also uh, like uh, for example cat command okay employee dot dot txt okay so here instead of ls you can give cat and then here uh, same this symbol we have to specify okay so now i want to execute a hive queries without a hive prompt so how to execute so here i have not logged in a hive mode in this window okay but uh, here i want to execute um, hive queries so how to execute so here for example i want to execute a select a star from employee table employee table so this table is there in which database okay so that database we have to choose use rr digital this is the database okay and here hive hyphen e e means execute okay e means execute and the entire query we have to specify inside a double quotes 
so we are telling you can execute this in a hive hyphen e means execute so before executing query you choose our digital database from our digital database this particular table related data you can retrieve okay so total 47 uh, rows okay so successfully executed hive queries in uh, local file system without entering in a uh, hive mode we have executed uh, hive queries using this uh, command okay so we know how to execute a hadoop commands in a uh, hive mode same time we know how to execute hive queries in a, a local file system now how to import specific hive table data from hive to local file system local file system local file system or hdfs file system okay so i have one table okay the table contains some data but i want to import the data to local file system or i want to import into hdfs path so how to import a specific table related data okay so for that we have to write a query so here i want to import employee table related uh, data into local file system first i will import into local file system so here insert overwrite local path so in local where you want to import this data okay under home cloud era new one so new one directory it will create under new one directory it will import your uh, employee table related uh, data okay and uh, while importing data each column should be separated by which symbol that we have to specify so row format delimited fields terminated by symbol pipe symbol okay so this particular hive table related data i am importing into local file system under this directory okay so here it is throwing error here not in path we have to specify a local directory okay so insert overwrite local directory and then a local directory path row format delimited fields terminated by and then a select star from table name okay so now we'll cross verify data imported into local file system or not okay so here pwd ls so here new one directory created so cd new one and then ls here we have data so data imported successfully okay so 47 records so whatever data available in the hive table same data successfully imported into local file system so same way how to import a specific table related data to hdfs path hdfs path okay so here hdfs means local keyword not required and here we have to give hdfs path this is my hdfs path okay new one directory it will create 
so now we are uh, importing data from hive table to hdfs uh, path or hdfs okay so successfully so successfully imported uh, our data control l so we have to cross verify right the data imported or not so how do we face hyphen ls user louder under new one directory data imported or not will check so here it is showing so using uh, cat command we can check right using cat command we can check right here okay so successfully imported a uh, data okay so next concept uh, manipulating data with uh, hive so like uh, how to manipulate data or how to retrieve the data from specific uh, table okay so here again we have few topics okay so mainly how to apply joins on different tables and uh, how to apply select statement or select query also here we have a few functions uh, like aggregate functions and uh, string functions and the uh, sub queries okay so these are the different concepts uh, in uh, next sessions we have also dml commands like insert update delete so update delete hive is supporting or not if it is supporting from which version onwards it is supporting so those concepts uh, will cover in the next few sessions also we have few important uh, topics in uh, hive one is a uh, partitioning and then uh, bucketing and then uh, sampling then uh, complex data types also we have a few user defined functions few user defined functions okay so these are all the topics i will cover in the next few slides so now how to retrieve data from table that we already seen also we know how to apply a, a where class or how to apply a limit like if you want to restrict rows how to restrict okay those all we already seen so here a basic syntax i given here for a where condition and for order by also limit also okay so here if you want to apply where condition so select star from employee where salary greater than amount okay so we can apply same way like uh, here 45000 means only three records even if you want to apply order by ascending also you can apply so limit here we can apply limit so limit one means only one record that is showing basically more than 45000 salary related we have three employees okay but here i restricted to only one record so that's why it is showing uh, one okay and here we have sort by and order by concept what is the difference between uh, order by and uh, sort by okay so order by basically it will give ascending or descending like if 10 records are there okay select are from employee order by salary ascending okay so all the records are salary ascending order like uh, first uh, lowest salary related employee details then highest 
so ascending means low to highest right see here first lowest salary it is showing then um, highest salary okay so same way descending also we can specify descending order so descending order basically in a high first highest salaries then uh, lowest salaries it will populate okay so descending order first highest then uh, lowest okay so that is about ascending and descending and here we have sort by and order by okay so uh, both are same only but the difference is um, order by here um, sort by okay so order by always it will give correct result correct uh, results okay in real time 90 percent people they will use uh, order by only because it will always it will give correct results okay but the sort to buy sort to buy if you have only one mapper one mapper one mapper means uh, your data is there in entire data is there in only one mapper means then it will give correct results correct uh, results okay but uh, if your data is there in a multiple mappers then uh, it will give wrong uh, results okay so so because sort by it will apply sorting on each individual mappers related data but order by it will apply on all the mappers related data that's why order by always it will give correct result but to sort by whenever multiple mappers are there inside those multiple mappers different data is there means it will give partial results that's why always we have to use order by okay we'll see remaining concepts in the next session thanks for watching this video bye friends